semi-final two will start with the drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, go! And off we go into the wild of blue yonder. Wow. Oh, great gameplay at this level. Lots of cargo into the upper. Oh, the last second shots there. Terrific work. It is a 14 point lead for the Red Alliance. Aluminum Falcons setting up for their shot. It looks like Cyber Knights are being assigned security detail. Gus 228. Setting that up, and it looks like they're going to try to stop Ados Dios and 1991. Ados Dios has some cargo ready to be shot in there. But 195 is going to be getting in their way, doing his best to stop them. And Gus makes a shot right there, and a second one. So, in spite of 1071 Team Max's defense for the Blue Alliance, not quite able to stop him, but they do knock him off their shot there, and it works. 1991 shooting into the upper hub. It is still nearly a 30 point lead for the Red Alliance with 2168, putting two more in the upper hub. 28 point lead right now for the Red Alliance. 1991 shooting into the upper hub, but Gus answers with one out of two more. 195 doing a great defense. Paying attention to 7153. 7153 has a tough time with their shot. Red Alliance is pulling away with three more cargo to the one blue cargo, and that the next blue shot just flew out. And that was by 7153. They're going to try another one here because they're 40 points behind. And well, that's three shots for blue and one shot for red. Successful ones of cargo, and up they go. 2168, reaching up, grabbing on. Cyber Knights having a more successful climb this time. This will be nice. It's been a rough weekend for them, but they're really coming through now. And they are both up there, scaring the Dickens out of the drive team. Just into 228, Gus's face with four, three seconds left. Gus makes another shot. Ados Dios climbing up, and I don't think it's going to be enough. Results and that was won by the Red Alliance. The final score for that is 110 to 48. That's another 100-point match, even taking away the penalties. You know what?